Hello, and welcome to the May 2022 Folklore and Fiction Podcast. My name is Kelly McCath Morin. I'm a PhD candidate in the Folklore Department at Memorial University of Newfoundland, and I'm also a speculative fiction writer under the pseudonym C.S. McCath. The Folklore and Fiction podcast and dispatch synthesize these passions with a focus on folklore scholarship aimed at storytellers. You'll find the Folklore and Fiction archive along with the rest of my work online at folkloreandfiction.com. Interested listeners will find a link to the current dispatch in the show notes, where a more comprehensive record of this episode can be found, including a bibliography and other references. Please allow me to begin by thanking Wiley Beckert, the artist who painted the stunning Tam Lin work of art in this month's social media cards, for permitting me to use her painting. Isn't it gorgeous? You'll find her online at wileybeckert.com and patreon.com slash wileybeckert. I first encountered Tam Lin on a mixtape given to me by a friend in the early 1990s, which was loaded with songs from Fairport Convention's 1969 album Liege and Leaf. It's an ancient, well-loved ballad with so many historical and contemporary versions addressed by so much folkloristic scholarship and public research, it would be impossible to offer a thorough treatment of the material here. However, it's also a great follow-up to January's The Maid Freed from the Gallows and April's Molly Whuppie for reasons which will soon become apparent, and it provides us with the opportunity to look at an area of storytelling I've lectured about as a guest at science fiction conventions but haven't addressed much here, namely world-building. I'll begin as I always do with English ballads by performing a version of Tamlin for you. This version is collected in Bertrand Harris Bronson's The Traditional Tunes of the Child Ballads and is titled Tam Lane. Bronson writes that it was found in Dorothy Scarborough's 1937 book A Song Catcher in the Southern Mountains, American Folk Songs of British Ancestry, and was sung to Scarborough by a woman named Margaret Widmer in 1932. It's my great pleasure to sing this Appalachian version of the ballad, which is a bit closer to my roots than the fine English versions in the Tamlin playlist I've compiled for patrons this month. Patrons will also find the sheet music and an associated WAV file in their inboxes. Margaret sat in her castle tower, sewing her silken seam. She looked out from the high window and saw the leaves growing green, my love, and she saw the leaves growing green. She's let the seam drop to her foot, the needle to her toe, and she's away to cart her shape. As fast as she can go, my love, as fast as she can go. He had no pulled a red, red rose, a rose but barely three. When up there started a wee, wee man, says, let the roses be, my love. Says, let the roses be. Oh, I will pull the bush, she says, and I will pull the tree, and I will be at Carter Shay and ask no leave of thee, my love. I will ask no leave of thee. took her by the milk white hand among the leaves so green and what they did I dare to say the leaves they were between my love the This episode of the Folklore and Fiction podcast is a preview, and you can listen to the full episode on the Folklore and Fiction website. 
Just click on the dispatch link in the show notes or go to folkloreandfiction.com and sign up for a free account. Thanks very much for your interest. Copyright 2019 to 2023. Kelly S. McCath Morin. All rights reserved unless Creative Commons licensing is specifically applied.